Brown and Shelly Killinger from the Shelly Killinger Group at Remax CSI. So the January numbers are in. Let's take a look and see how the southwest section of the Pittsburgh market performed. Let's dive into the numbers. So in this update, we're going to be comparing the numbers that came in at the end of 2017 in December to our first month in 2018, January 1st through February 1st. If we take a look at our average sold home, our average sold home is a three bedroom, two bath home that sold for just over $235,000. This is actually roughly a $2,000 increase from our December number. So if we take a look at our average days on the market numbers, as well as our list price to sale price ratio numbers, they're very similar between December and January. Our days on the market, which is the average days that it takes for a home to sell, came in in January at 69 days. This is actually a one day, only one day increase from our December numbers, which were 68 days on the market. In terms of our list price to sale price ratio, if you're not aware, list price to sale price ratio is actually the ratio between where a home is listed for sale and then where it actually ends up selling. So that ratio, in January, our number came in at 96.67%. That is actually a 0.16 increase from our December number. So as you can tell, those numbers are also very similar. Where we have seen a little bit of difference between our January and our December numbers is in the number of properties we have active for sale, as well as the number of sold properties. So if we take a look at January, the number of active properties for sale at the end of January was 755 properties. Believe it or not, that is actually down from our December number by 82 properties, which means we have 82 fewer homes to choose from, 82 fewer homes for sale in January than we did in December. If we take a look at the number of sold properties, the number of sold properties we had in January was 169 properties, and that is actually down from our December number by 68 properties, which means that 68 fewer homes sold in January than what sold in December. I don't want you to get the impression that the market is slowing or the market is slow or it's not a good time to buy or sell. Buyer foot traffic that has been reported is actually higher in the past two months than it was in any given month in our hot spring market last year. So buyers are out there looking, but the problem is there are fewer homes to sell. There's fewer houses in our active inventory to choose from, so therefore there are going to be fewer homes that actually make it to the finish line and get sold. So it is still a good time to buy. Really the only way that we can alleviate this problem is to free up more inventory. So if you are a potential seller and you've had thoughts of selling this year, it might be a good time to put your home on the market because there is such low inventory and such high buyer demand. It could really be an area of opportunity for you. So I get a lot of questions about what is actually moving. What's the hottest section of the market at the moment? And quite frankly, we're seeing pretty good movement across the board only because we're having such low inventory levels and there's so few houses to choose from. But if we take a look at the numbers and break it down a little bit, we are seeing really good movement in our under $200,000 market segment, which is our entry level buyers. And we expected that we have a lot of millennials joining the market this year. So that would make sense that that under $200,000 category is moving a little bit faster. So they have shorter days on the market. Sellers there tend to be getting a little bit more in terms of their list price to sale price ratio. And there's more inventory available at that price range than there are in other price ranges in our market. So that is our January market update. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you found value in this. Please, if you have any questions, do send them to me directly or you can feel free to post them in the comments section down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our market updates or any of the great real estate info that we post on a weekly basis. Thank you again, guys, for watching. See you next time.